people right now are reporting that there's something wrong with the monkeys in Thailand, and that they've been disorientated and acting strange for the last few weeks, with local residents saying that they're starting to charge at locals. Those who live close to the region have said they won't approach them, and that at the moment they're doing all they can to avoid them. The first incident happened a few weeks back, when they were observed gathering in large groups. When people would walk or drive by, the monkeys would charge at them, so much so that people could be seen running away, with some of the monkeys even latching onto them and slapping them on their heads. Various different explanations have been put forward by locals and others to explain why they're acting like this, with some who live in Thailand saying that the reason they're acting out is because of food shortages, and that they're running up to humans to see if they have food on them. Others carried on from this and said that when they're hungry they start to get annoyed, and that if anything approaches them they will lash out. Some of the locals have said that although the videos look funny when they're attacking humans, some of the injuries that people are sustaining are quite bad. One of the locals said the following, I've recorded the monkeys acting like this, and right now people aren't sure why their behaviour has changed. There's some who have said that they're declaring war on humans, and others who think it's coming down to shortages. Anywhere these monkeys want to go they're able to, and they're not afraid to take on things like large groups of humans and moving cars. End quote. One local had this to say. Man is asking why these creatures are acting the way they are, but we're not looking at the bigger picture. Look what humans have done to the surrounding area, and ask yourself why the wildlife has come more inland. The truth is they haven't. We've built these large establishments right next to their homes, and now people are getting frustrated because they're encountering the monkeys more than they used to. This will always happen when you take over the natural environment. Expect more incidents like this to happen. Another person who lives in Thailand said it's like Planet of the Ames. They even said that the groups are becoming bigger and bigger as the monkeys have started to band together, theorising that they may have done this to ensure that they will survive, and that if they do attack their power is in numbers. One user who studies animal behaviour said that two large groups of monkeys are actually fighting throughout the area, which is why it looks like there's so many, but they did warn that the winner of the battle will gain victory over the city and all that will happen is you will see an increase in monkeys roaming through the area because they won that territory. One man was even seen standing up to the monkeys, but reports said this angered one of the monkeys, and a member of the clan ran up to him and drop kicked him in the face, causing the man to run off. There's many different stories that are currently being shared of these monkeys taking on humans, and wildlife experts have mirrored what others have said, and that's that the more we're building closer to the natural world, the more of these types of incidents are going to be reported. The battle has now been going on for the last few weeks, but locals are hoping that the monkeys will move on. Interestingly, what many people might not be aware of is that for years people have been encountering mysterious humanoids, many of which look like primitive humans. One of the most famous ones is that of the Monkey Man of New Delhi, but one that's not very well known is that of the Bucket Timmer Monkey Man. This has been described as a primate that lives in the jungles of Singapore. According to local legends, this forest dwelling creature has been living in the forest for thousands of years. This mysterious creature was first reported by Japanese soldiers, detailing that they would see mysterious humanoid like creatures in the jungles, describing them as being smaller than a human but being very hairy. Over the years, a number of local residents have reported seeing the creature. All the alleged sightings of the creature have been in and around the Bucket Timmer rainforest. The creature is believed to be three to six feet tall and walks on its hind legs. Bucket Timmer Nature Reserve is home to thousands of monkeys and the researchers believe that there is a possibility that the crab-eating macaque monkeys could be at times mistaken for the monkey man. 
However, the biggest difference between the description of the bucket timmer monkey man and crab eating macuck monkeys is their size. For the last 10 years, people have reported seeing the monkey man, and a few years back, a 48 year old taxi driver reported seeing the elusive creature. According to the taxi driver, he was driving his taxi near the fire station, which is located on the upper Bucket Timmer Road, when he suddenly hit a strange creature that was running in the road. It looked like a very large monkey. The creature was injured as a result of the accident. However, shortly after this, it ran into the forest and wasn't seen again. Various sources state that the man drove off after hitting the creature. However, the next morning time marks could be seen where the car had brained. It was suggested that whatever was hit by the vehicle did survive, and managed to find shelter in the nearby forest. Another recent encounter with an alleged monkey man was reported by a 29-year-old woman. One cold, foggy morning she was walking towards a bus stop, when she saw someone near a rubbish bin. When she approached, the creature made a loud animal sound and ran into the forest. She described the creature as grey, hairy, walking like a human but having a monkey face. The woman immediately called the police. However, the creature had vanished into the jungle and wasn't able to be found. So what do you make of this monkey uprising? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.